I'm Dr. Randy Bradley, Assistant Professor of Information Systems and Supply Chain Management at the University of Tennessee. One of the things that we try to do at the University of Tennessee is ensure that the students we produce are analytically minded. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be the next data scientist, but what it does mean is that they're not afraid of getting their hands dirty when it comes to addressing complex problems, being able to dissect a problem and look at it from multiple perspectives. And so I think the key concept of that is critical thinking skills. Do they see the problem from inside out as well as outside in, but also taking into consideration the multiple constituents that will be affected by the problems that they attempt to solve. I would say any organization that views technology as simply a means to an end or as a way to be more efficient really is missing out on the true value of what it can bear. If you think about it from the concept of communication, coordination, and collaboration, any solution that you invest in should at least bring all parties together to accomplish those three things. And that's one of the things that I love about the GT Nexus platform is that it's not focused on any one of those buckets, but it's saying we're gonna give you a solution, if you will, that's gonna help you communicate better, not only within the organization, Organization, but also across organizational boundaries. It's going to help you coordinate activities that are vital to you and your stakeholders. And then it's going to improve collaboration, even to the concept of, in some cases, co-opetition. Organizations that would typically compete against one another in the same space, the GT Nexus platform gives them the ability, if they so choose, to work together to advance the field, to advance the industry, and perhaps even enter into market segments that they once thought were closed off to them, or at least entered in a more transformative manner. When we think about the supply chain, we prefer to think about it more as a supply network, a geographically dispersed set of nodes that have to exchange information as to help move products as well as other financial flows that are going to impact the business at the end of the day. But when you think about that, one of the things that actually has to be paramount is recognizing that the supply network is a social organism. It consists of people, it consists of values, it consists of what we refer to as culture as well as climate. And so organizations who don't think about their technology as being able to impact, augment, or enable those aspects that we just mentioned, then they're truly going to miss it. It, it even comes when you think about the new talent you bring in. One of the questions that we often get is, what is it that the next generation of talent really expects in an organization? And we try to make the point, they want a challenge. They don't want the same thing day in and day out. They don't want a mundane problem or a place to be set in. They want an experience. Everything they do personally and professionally is about an experience. And so the reality is we're either gonna leverage the solutions and the technologies that we put in front of them to create an experience where they solve problems that stretch their minds, or you're gonna be preparing them for your next competitor. One thing that we often see, even when you talk about the phrase digital transformation or digital business, is that your more senior workforce tends to be a bit concerned or uneasy with the new generation or the new talent that comes in because we view it more as an or approach. Are they coming here to replace me? Am I now going to become less relevant as I once was? But what we like to do is say, let's take a less myopic view and look at it from the perspective of when we think about mentoring, we typically think about top-down mentoring, the more senior uh, personnel bringing the younger person along. But one of the things that we find that, that works much better is this concept of reverse mentoring, which is as you pour into them, you also pull from them. So it's a push and pull simultaneously. So there's this harmony of working and balancing the multiple generations, the different perspectives, mindset, and ideals that each individual brings into the workforce. And that's a less threatening approach to your more senior personnel. One of the things that I love about being immersed in the industry, but also at the same time educating the next generation of, of, of professionals that are going to enter the workforce, is being able to bring real-time problems into the environment. And we're not talking about cookie-cutter problems with cookie-cutter solutions. What we're saying are messy issues that industry doesn't really have a good grasp on and allowing the generation of students who are coming up to be focused on those things. And so when they sit in front of you, it's not just here's a class that I took and here's what I learned, but here's a problem that you're facing that I believe I can help you with. Again, one of the things we've always said, the people who are successful in the organizations that stay relevant are the ones that continue to solve problems. The challenge is now being able to anticipate what the problem will be and solving it before someone is able to articulate it.